So I'm getting ready to go record at the gym with Laura, and I've been getting a lot of questions recently. Not re- not really recently, but I've been getting a lot of questions ever since I kind of started this journey of just how are we doing it? And I think what it really comes down to is I have a growth strategy that doesn't really... I didn't really get it from anyone, I guess. I we kind of made it up and we kind of just went with what we what what I know works. And what I know works is is treat people with respect. It's really that easy. I'm I'm not out here hard pushing product every single post. I'm not out here hard selling people. We just believe in this brand and right now I'm at a point where I don't necessarily need to push people for money. I don't have to hard sell every single minute. Uh, now, I'm not going to lie. Sales are great, and, and at the end of the day, I've got to pay bills, and this the part of this helps that. Uh, but right now, I'm in a position where I don't have to rely on this 150%, so I don't need to be pushing money all that much with this. Uh, and it is astounding how differently someone who's in our position handles a business compared to someone who does need the money right up front, who needs money right now. It's uh, it's it's astounding because I will take the time to DM for two hours. I will easily do that. I will, And then every single person that replies back to me, because not everyone does, not everyone hits you back, but all the people that do and who are looking for help and advice on how to start a business or where to start or or, or they're stuck with something in life and they just need a little help getting out of that position, I'll take the time to talk to them. And if it takes me three days of shooting DMs back and forth to get everything that they need answered completed, then I'll gladly do that. Uh, I don't have an issue with that. And I don't have an issue with not making a sale on that. I'm legitimately not doing this for the money 150% right now. And I think that's an awesome position to be in. And honestly, I think that's helped. that has been my number one growth strategy that I've used right now. And it sounds funny, but I'm not asking for money. And that's how I've grown the most, is literally just being a human. Talking to people, and even more than on Instagram, even more than Twitter and Facebook advertising and all that, when you go to live events, these are still real people. And I think people forget about that connection. They forget that there are still real people out there. And you you can talk up your game on Instagram all you want, but if you don't actually talk to those people in real life and get to know them outside of like an Instagram or, or the social media, that doesn't do you a whole lot. Now, I'm not saying there's no value in social media, but I'm saying there is a huge value in person-to-person interactions, and I think people have forgotten about that. I've converted on more sales from person-to-person interaction, not even trying to, just talking to people. For example, this powerlifting meet that we went to, I didn't, I, I didn't have any intention of selling to those people, but I made friends. I talked to them. They, they kind of asked about it. I said, yeah, I kind of own a clothing line kind of thing, and it just came up in conversation, but I didn't say, hey, I've got a clothing line. You want to buy a shirt? I'll give you this percentage if you buy a shirt today. It, it doesn't work like that. It's, it's just building relationships. And that's the biggest piece of advice I can give you guys. Now, some of you may not be in that position. Some of you may be in a position where you have to ask for money, where you need to have more sales because that that's just what you need at the time. But even then, even then, you should still not, you should never put the money above the relationships you have because that relationship is worth so much more than that one transaction, so much more than that $15 they're going to buy a shirt from you for. Because here's why you foster that relationship now and it may take them a year and a half, but they may buy a shirt in a year and a half. Uh, And once they do that, you've already built that connection with them. They already know who you are. They know what kind of person you are. And it's so much easier to spread your message. They'll go tell their friends about you. And then that just, it it just explodes. It's a domino effect, which is exactly what we're going for is a long-term game And I am so thankful we are in this position where we don't have to ask for money on every single Instagram post. I don't have to ask for money on these YouTube videos. I don't have to ask for sales anywhere. I'm just extremely grateful. And that's my number one growth strategy tip. It's not about the content. The content's great and you have to have it. You've got to have good stuff. But I I honestly believe that 
treating people with respect, and being a human is the biggest growth strategy that I have done to this date and has given me so much more fulfillment than any sale I've completed or any deal that we've closed.